It's Joe from Pointer Remote here, and today I am walking the remote work talk with Anna, who is my, uh, the CEO of Myotherapy Association Australia. Hello, Anna. Hello. How are you? Nice to see we've both got blue skies behind us. I know. So tell us, where are you walking the remote work talk today? <laughs> well, ironically enough, I'm walking the remote talk from my backyard going to see uh, some play equipment for my kids two, and two reasons for that Joe. one uh, we're, we're a remote organization and my home is my office um, but two I'm in day two of my isolation having tested positive for corona but nice. um, yeah part of the beauty of remote work right like it has an impact whether or not you know I can work still doing it just doing it with the rona so good. So tell us about your organization's purpose. Yeah, right. So essentially, we want to ensure so My Therapy Association Australia, we represent my therapists nationally. And uh, ultimately, we want to ensure that every Australian has equal access to my therapy healthcare. That's what we're about. Unreal. So tell us what remote work looks like in your organization. Yeah, well, we kind of feel like we've got our groove going on with it, though, because we, we've been doing remote working for oh, a good year and a half. So not too far into the pandemic, we, we made a decision as a team to um, vacate the office. I mean, we're sort of forced to do that as a result of, of the um, pandemic orders. But we realised that, um, you know, that money that we were spending on a commercial premises, we could roll that into our members. and. We love that, right? So um, we've, remote work for us is working as a team, but working from an environment where we're not commuting in. I mean, we're in Victoria, so we don't have to commute in that crazy, you know, Melbourne traffic. Um, and we, we get the job done. I think we get the job done really well. Now, you do something really cool with your remote team members, though. Can you tell us something that you do on a weekly basis for your team? Yeah, so look, it's kind of a bit of something new we're, we're introducing too. Um, we, we have a sense that just because you're remote, it doesn't mean that you can't have that sense of being, you know, inclusive as a team. So I really appreciate my role that, that sometimes they, they catch up with people, they, they want to throw some ideas around, they, they might want to vent, maybe they want to talk about me. Um, so we want to shout them lunch, get out there each week, have a catch up with someone doesn't matter where you are um you mightn't be able to come into the office but you know get those creative juices going and whoever that might be with that's okay too we just want you to love what you do unreal so tell us what's one remote tool that your team can't live without uh, you know I say team. <laughs> teams has been great and um so you know not only does it allow us to, to communicate with one another um, you know, we share some of our pics about what we've been doing. We love the little gif every now and then, you know, brain exploding, whatever's happening that way. Um, but it's just a great way to, to share our files, share the resources, communicate. So I'd have to say that that's been a real asset to the remote workspace. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Anna. It's been great to walk the remote work talk with you. Oh, you too. Thanks, Joe. Enjoy the rest of your day. I can hear the birds in the <laughs> Remote working at its best. Thanks, Joe. Take care.